Hello buddy Washoot here, and welcome back to Pocket Mirror. So peaceful and pure, just like Sleeping Beauty. A sparkly golden key shaped like a heart, decorated with a small strap. It fit. Alright, so who was the funny bunny who locked me inside this chest? You're that girl. Who are you? Oh, I'm... Uh, I've never seen you around here before. How did you get here? I just, uh... Hmm, I see. Did you see who locked me up inside this chest by any chance? Ah, uh, no, I didn't. The chest was already locked when I got here. Hmm, that's a shame. Oh well, that's alright. Well, I'm a good detective, so I'll catch the culprit in no time. Ah, I see. So, what are you doing here, miss? Ah, uh, that's, uh... Queen Igliette invited me. Oh, did she now? Uh, yes? Alright then. Speaking of Igliette, have you seen her? I came here to get her, but someone locked me up in this chest. I... Uh... She must be in her throne. Let's go look for her together. Alright. Oh, by the way, miss, what's your name? Mine's Fleta. Oh. I'm sorry, I can't seem to re remember my name right now. Really? That's weird. Mm, it sure is. Anyway. Let's go look for Igliat. I have a few royal matters to address with her. Alright. Proceed to interact with characters in your party. Oh, you don't say. Uh, wh what? Huh? Let's go find Igliat. I need to talk to her. Okay. So, do you have, like, different commentary about stuff? Pumpkin, Princess Fleta, it sure is nice to see you again. Tell me, who locked me up inside that chest? I'm very sorry, Princess, but I don't know who did it. You worthless wretch. Alf, let's go. I'm sorry, Princess. I didn't see anything. Don't ask me. It wasn't me. Is that Igliat? Igliat? Igliat, what have they done to you? We need to save her. Alright, but how? I've got an idea. Hold me up. Flat out, that hurts. Shut up, just hurry. Just a little bit more. I'm trying. Oh, Igliat. Is, uh, is she alright? Uh huh. I'm glad. But she's ripped apart. 
Ah, uh, don't worry, Flitta. I know how to sew. Uh, you do? Yes. Hmm. Let's see what you can do then. Here. Hurt her, and you'll pay a hundred times over. Uh, I'll try my best. There. She's all ready. Oh, Eagliet, I'm so glad you're all right. Everything will be fine now. I'm here with you. Hmm? What was that? You didn't see who it was. That's fine. All that matters is that you're safe now. Thank you so much for saving Eagliet. Oh no, it was nothing. No, no, I insist. Eagliet and I want to invite you to come play with us at my dollhouse. Would you like to come? Really, can I? Of course. Come on now, let's go. My favorite color is pink. What's yours? Oh, I like red. That's such an old lady's color. Mm-hmm. Your hair is so long, it's really pretty. Thank you, Fleta. Your eyes are really sparkly, they remind me of cherries. R really? Uh-huh. They would make really pretty marbles, too, don't you think? Uh, uh, Fleta, you're, you're kind of weirding me out. Step back a little. I'm going to do a magic trick. A magic trick? Do you know how to do magic? Uh-huh. Now, watch. Uh, a garden? Yes, this is my absolute favorite place to play. Oh, I see. We need to go through it to reach my dollhouse. Let's go. I'll lead the way. Rose Labyrinth. Do you want to sit here for a little while? Uh, okay. Isn't it nice and cool out here? Yes, it's really pleasant. Aha! Uh -huh. And do you know, my dollhouse is really, really big. Oh, do you live there on your own? I live with Iglia. Ah, I see. I have lots and lots of games for us to play at home. But I've played them all already with Iglia. And you know, I've never, ever lost a game. N never Never, so I'm really excited to win against you, too. Uh, I see. It will be so fun, and we can eat all kinds of candy, too. Do you like candy, too? What kind of candy do you like the most? Uh, just regular candy, I'm not picky. N what? You're so boring. Ah, uh, I'm sorry. Anyway, I'm getting tired of being here. Let's go. Hmm. Is she more of an Ojo-sama, or is she more of a Kusogaki? She's... Is that a giant fork? Uh, fork? Both Eagliet and I love sweets. Isn't it, uh, a little too big? It's just for decoration, dummy. Let's go. I have cuter things to show you. Really? What about this rock? What if this rock right here had pumpkin charms? Okay. The cuter things that Fleta was going to show us was not that rock. What was that? I don't know. Let's hurry.
This is all wrong. Uh, what is it, Fleta? My garden. This wasn't how it looked before. There used to be a path straight ahead, and now it's gone. It's fine, Flynna. I'm sure everything will be alright. <coughs> Shut up. Don't tell me what to do. Wow. Let's go. I want to go home soon. Do you two little girls want to hear a joke? Listen here, you dumb tree or whatever you are. I don't have time for your stupid jokes. Show me the way home this instant or else. Such a loud missy you are. Didn't your mommy teach you any manners? What did you just say? Who do you think you're talking to? Shoo shoo, go away, you're pestering me. Come back after you learn some respect. <laughs> that is the best bitch please face I've seen in a long time. Bitch, what did this tree just say to me? <laughs> Calm down, Fleta. Let me try talking to him. Alright? Huh. Fine, go ahead and try it. It's not like he's going to tell you anything anyways. Hello there, mister. You see, we're somewhat lost right now, and we were wondering if you could show us the way. Why, of course, it would be my pleasure, miss. What? Thank you so much, mister. Ahem. <clears throat> now, there's a trick to getting out of mazes. Have you ever heard about it? I cannot believe this. Can you believe this, Eagliet? Ah, I know about the one trick where you tie a thread to something at the start of the maze and hold onto it as you're walking so you don't get lost. You're right, miss. However, there's one that's even more effective. M really? Blah, blah, blah. Look at me. I know how to talk to trees. It's impressive that you know all the methods to get out of the maze. Too bad you're a tree. Yes. Do you want to hear it? Just say it already, you ugly tree trunk. I want to go home. Carrying on, it's truly an easy method, miss. All you need to do is place your right hand on the right wall of the maze and follow it all the way to the end. You'll never get lost. I can guarantee you that. That's amazing. I never knew about that trick. Thank you so much for your help. Oh, thank you so much for your help. How dare... How do you even know he's not lying? He's a tree. There's no way he could know how to walk out of a maze. He's never even walked. You're very welcome, miss. Now be careful and take care, especially with that noisy girl you have there with you. What did you just call me, you old piece of wood? Uh, thank you, mister. Well then, let's go. Please don't be mean to Mr. Tree. He's even helped us with getting out of this maze. Hmm, fine. Then you lead the way, Miss Goody Two-Shoes. We'll see if you can get us out of this stupid maze. Uh, Alright. Huh. Don't forget, Miss. Place your right hand on the right wall of the maze and you'll reach the end in no time. Okay. I can only ever believe you. We're following the right side of the maze. Here we go. When I grow up, I want to be one of those scary pumpkins. The ones that have spooky, shining eyes. I see. I hope you can really become one in the future. Yeah, you'll probably end up becoming one of Eagliet's pumpkin pies. Gladda, you shouldn't have said that. And who are you to tell me what to say? Definitely Kusogaki. Let's go, I don't have any time to waste on pumpkins. I'm sorry, Mr. Pumpkin. Following along the right. What if he lied? What the heck is that thing? Oh my god. Well, what happened? I don't know. It seems we're in a different place now. Why are we even here? 
Was this not here before? No. We'll never get home like this. Fleta. Don't worry, Fleta. It'll be alright. We'll definitely get out of here, okay? Hmm, how can you be so sure? We're lost in this is a maze, you know. I'm not sure, but we need to stay positive, right? And I'm really looking forward to playing games with you. So let's try getting home as soon as possible, alright? Alright. Do you want to take a rest? We could sit on that bench over there. Uh-huh. Fleta, do you really live here all by yourself? No, I live together with Igliet. Aren't you lonely sometimes? Not at all. Igliet is always there for me no matter what. I see. I'm glad. Why do you ask that? Do you want to be my friend too? <laughs> me? No, I mean I didn't ask because I wanted to be your friend. I don't want to impose. <laughs> you dummy. You're already mine and Igliet's friend. Right, Igliet? See? Thank you, Fleta. Don't forget to thank Igliet as well. Oh, uh, thank you, Igliet. Well, let's go. We can't stay here all day. We had a break here. What about you guys? I'm telling you, there's no candy inside of me. Why are you doubting me? Pumpkin, listen to me. Every pumpkin needs candy to survive. I have candy inside of me, and every pumpkin I know has candy inside of them as well. Meaning you have to have candy inside of you, too. No, I don't. What is this all about, pumpkins? Your Highness, you have come just at the right time. My friend here doesn't believe me when I say every pumpkin has candy inside of them. No, they don't. I don't have any candy inside of me whatsoever. I haven't heard anything about candy inside pumpkins before. Ha! I knew it! No, I swear I'm not lying. Uh, please calm down, you two. Well, there's only one way to find out who's right. We just need to open you up and see for ourselves. Uh, open me up? Wait, Fleta, wouldn't that hurt him? What does that matter? It's for a much bigger purpose. Wait, please don't open me up. N then what? Isn't there any other way to check? Uh, you could try to reach for the candy through his mouth. Uh, oh. Oh, right. Let's try that. You do it. Uh, me? Why me? Because I said so. Alright. <laughs> now say ah. Uh... Uh, so, what was inside? Uh, kind of gross. Oh, never mind. What the heck is that? Uh, well, you're a liar. No, I'm not. Yes, you are a big fat liar. Hey, don't make fun of my weight. Now, well, let's just step away from them. Okay. Hmm. The two pumpkins are violently yelling at each other as their leaves wiggle angrily. What do you have to say about this? But uh, does Igliet ever talk? Yes, she does. But she only talks to me. I'm the only one who can understand what she says. Ah, uh, I see. Hey, do you want to hear a song? Oh, all right. Oh, you sing really well, Fleta. I do, don't I? Lovely. Alright. Hmm. 
about? Whoa, what kind of tree is this? Oh, look, there's candy hanging from this tree. Ah, oh, you're right. Let's get it. But how? I could just get on your back again. Uh, oh, right. You're kind of heavy, though. What was that? No, it's nothing. Don't worry. Um, I'll show you who's heavy. Flutter, be careful. You're hurting me. Shut up. I'm almost there. Uh-oh. Ow, that hurt. Watch your step, will you? What? What is creepy red face? I'm sorry, Fleddit. It was just a... It was just what? You dropped me. There was something in the bushes. Oh. This? You silly bunny, it's just a pumpkin. A, a pumpkin? What's a pumpkin doing in there? You don't know, this is where all pumpkins in the kingdom are born. They sprout out inside bushes in the garden till they're big enough to leave. I see. Hello, little pumpkin. Hello, princess. Is everything all right in there? Are you comfortable? Yes, I am. Do you want to hear a joke, princess? All right. What's green and has yellow wheels? I have no idea. Do, do you know what it is? Oh, I don't know. It's just the grass. I lied about the wheels. Puff. What are you laughing at? That joke was just so funny. Are you serious? How can you laugh at that? Ah. Anyway, good luck growing up, Pumpkin. I'll see you in a few months. At least you liked my joke, miss. It was a good joke, Pumpkin. Don't worry. Hmm. I heard the Pumpkin King has come to visit, aren't you excited? Uh, Pumpkin King? Oh, I hate the Pumpkin King. Why, Mr. Tree looks so very excited about him. The Pumpkin thing thinks he's all glorious and mighty. I hate stuck-up pumpkins like him. Right, Igliette, don't you hate him too? The first time the Pumpkin King appeared in the kingdom, he challenged Princess Fleta to a chess game in exchange for a quiet place where he could raise his little pumpkins. Princess Freda lost to him, and so he won his rightful place in this garden. Huh? That's just because he was a big cheater. Ah, I see. Let's go. I don't want to go anywhere near that stupid scarecrow. Oh, I'm looking for him. I wonder. Mr. Pumpkin, can we ask you a question? Why, yes, most certainly you can. Uh, do you only by chance know what happened to the garden? Oh my, you have no idea how terrifying the whole ordeal was. I'd never gone through such an unsettling event in all my five months of existence. Uh, what happened? You see, I was just resting here as always, and suddenly everything went dark. The garden was already like this when I came back to, or got to my senses. Uh, so you don't really know how it got like this? Not really, no. Oh, okay, well. He tried. I hope I was helpful. Uh, you were not, but you know what, you tried. What else could I ask of you? Hmm. We're not going getting anywhere like this. You've been utterly useless. Uh-oh. Fleta. Just pretend we didn't see that. Just kidding. All hail the Pumpkin King! Oh yes, the Pumpkin King. 
Look at him, in all his glory. Various pumpkins of all sizes rest in a bed of green vines. And a pumpkin charm, thank you. Truly magnificent, standing in the center of the garden and surrounded by countless pumpkins is the Pumpkin King, his body burning up in furious flames. Why are they burning him at a stake? It's so warm here next to the Pumpkin King, isn't it? I'm just here because I don't like all the pink in our kingdom. I'm so glad the Pumpkin King has taken us in. I feel so much more reassured now. A small scarecrow stands near the fence, its tiny body dressed up in a little gardener outfit. Be careful, don't stomp on our babies. I'm so sorry. I'm gonna stomp your babies. I don't want to step on their babies. All right, where'd you go, Fleta? Fleta? Fleta, are you being a baby? How you get there? Huh. Oh, what? Fleta! You stupid tree! Take this and this! You despicable liar! Fleta, wait, what are you doing? Calm down. Why are you hitting him? He lied to us. No, he didn't, Fleta. Calm down, all right. Then why did we get lost? Uh, it was my fault. Uh, then why didn't you say so? I'm sorry. Fine, just don't get lost again. Uh, be safe, child. Hmm. Oh, there it is. What in the... What is that thing? Another one of those statues. Isn't it cute? It's my favorite cake, too. Uh, what is it? Can't you see? That's obviously a whipped cream cake with strawberry glaze. Ah, I see. What else did you think it was? Well, I don't know much about sweets. You're not very bright, are you? Ah. A huge slice of cake rests surrounded by various decorations and top with sticky-looking red sauce. Lick it. Lick it. Try it. What is this thing? What? Is that a piece of that cake? Huh. What about this little bunny in front of it? Hmm. Well worth observing such a beautiful piece of cake. Anything to say? Do you always carry Eagly Cat anywhere you go? Uh-huh. We're never apart from each other. Isn't that right, Eagly Cat? Hmm. Eagly Cat, blink twice if you need help. Huh. Yo, this way? Oof, that doesn't look... Well, hmm. Darkness that way. I don't think we've gone this way yet. What? Can we not go there. Oh, I'm sorry. Hmm. Maybe the other way, then. Uh, 
Okay. Oh my. The best pumpkin. You're close. You're close. You're so very close. Uh, close to what, Mr. Pumpkin? Oh, so very close to the edge. I believe it is time to make a pledge. My Princess Fleta, ruler of all, swear I will be friends with you for all eternity. Now, now, miss, it's your turn. Either give Princess Fleta your word or expect to burn. Uh, oh, I swear I'll be friends with Fleta for all eternity. The pledge has been made, a precious promise that shall never fade. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, that startled me. With this, we can be friends forever. Yeah. But if you ever betray me, you know what will happen, doesn't she, Igliad? Well then, let's go. Yes? Oh, friendship, such a marvelous thing you are. Hand in hand with betrayal, there's nothing more bizarre. This is it. We made it. I'm so glad. Let's go inside. I have so much I want to show you. Yes, let's. I really love coloring books. I'm really good at coloring. I really like them too. We can color a book when you get to my dollhouse. Your Highness, I'm glad you're finally back. Did something happen, Pumpkin? Oh no, not at all. I'm just happy to see you. Oh, Pumpkin, you're making me blush. May I ask who that is next to you? Oh, her. She's just a friend. Hello, friend. You're also quite a beautiful girl. Ah, uh, thank you, Pumpkin. Enough small talk, let's go. Oh. Alright. Goodbye, Pumpkin. It was nice meeting you. Please come visit again, miss. As you can see, princess, we have taken good care of your dollhouse while you were away. Good job, trees, just as expected. We guard Princess Fleta's dollhouse at all times. Scissors are one of the items that are absolutely not allowed on the property. Hmm. Princess, who is this girl next to you? She's my friend. Can I be friends with her too? I've never had any friends. There's no way I'm going to share my new friend with the likes of you. Know your place, pumpkin. Ah, oh, but princess... Uh, Fleta, it's just a pumpkin. No means no. You're my special friend and no one else's. You're mine. I'm sick and tired of having everyone mistake me for a pumpkin. Uh, but you are a pumpkin. No, I might look like a pumpkin, but I actually identify with the Queensland Blue community. Ah, right. Good for you, then. Ah, uh, no one will ever understand me. I can't wait to show you my planetarium when we get home. Uh, you have a planetarium? Uh-huh, sometimes I even fall asleep there watching all the stars. That must be wonderful. How did you meet Igliet? Oh, that's a long story. Do you want to hear it? Hmm? One day, I was taking a nap in the garden, 
as always. But I took too long, and next thing I knew, it was already really late. So I decided to stay outside and watch the stars. Then, suddenly, I saw a big, big shooting star. And I noticed it was heading in my direction, so I decided to catch it. The shooting star was eagerly yet she was a gift from the skies. Ah, really? Uh-huh, she's very, very, very special to me. She's my one and only shooting star. That's amazing, Fleta. Isn't it? <laughs> Tell me now, Princess Fleta, how would you like to sing? Ding dong, ding dong, tell me now, my friend, if you'd like to hear a song. Ding dong, dong ding, tell me now then, what's the rule of spring? Dong ding, ding dong, oh please, miss, don't you dare get it wrong. Dong ding, ding dong, don't you worry, my friend, I would never forget our theme song. Ding dong, dong ding, my most precious rule is, not all pretty girls need a king. Welcome home, Princess Fleta. Please do come inside. Thank you. Door. We're finally here. Welcome to my dollhouse, miss. Is this really your home? Everything is so pretty. Isn't it? I had a very special pumpkin come in and do all the decorations in the house. I see. Let me show you around. All right. But, uh, what a beautiful house you have. Just saying. That's not the right button. Going up to your room, princess. Why, yes, I am, pumpkin. I see. Be careful not to eat too many sweets or else you'll get a tummy ache. Mm, is that so, pumpkin? Come on, let's go. I was just trying to be nice. Poor pumpkin. Welcome home, princess. Hmm. Hello. Hello, miss. Welcome to our home. Thank you, pumpkins. Princess, princess, I have a big favor to ask of you. You do? What is it, pumpkin? You see, Princess, my tooth fell out this morning, and I really want to get a coin from the Tooth Fairy. So would you please put my tooth under my leaves? <laughs> Me? Oh no, Pumpkin, there's no way I'm going to touch your tooth. But, Princess, I just want the Tooth Fairy to pay me a visit. Ah, quit it, Pumpkin. I'm not touching your filthy tooth. Ah, Fleta, it's just a tooth, and besides, Mr. Pumpkin even asked you really nicely and everything. Oh, is that so? Why don't you do it then? Gladly. <laughs> don't worry, Mr. Pumpkin. I'll do it for you. You will? Really? Yes. Oh, look at me. I'm so polite and kind. It's still inside my mouth. Just reach for it. All right, then. Say ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Oh, look at me. I'm so much better than Flutter. I got it. Let me just put it under your leaves. And it's all done. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, miss. You're welcome, Pumpkin. I hope you can meet the Tooth Fairy tonight. Me too. Thank you so much, miss. Are you two done yet? Oh, I... yes. Don't waste my time. I want to go play. I'm sorry, Fleta. I'm not. I love sunbathing. The warm sunlight always makes me feel at home. Hmm. Whoa. Tall, colorful stained glass windows stand graciously, casting an ephemeral light show over the hall. Hmm. This is my trump room. It's made especially for my favorite card games. Do you want to play with me? <laughs> oh, I, uh... 
Hooray, come on, let's sit down and play. Let's start. I go first. Oh my god, game start. There they are. Fleta's turn. You win. I won. Why isn't that great for you? You weren't even that good. I was just distracted. I just let you win because I was feeling sorry for you. Isn't that right, Gilead? I'm better at card games than Miss Smarty Pants here, huh? I thought so. What are you looking at me like that for? Come on, let's do something else. Follow me. Yes, Fleta. Already exhausted with you. You can already tell. You can feel it right in her face. That expression. The exhaustion of not wanting to be mean to the bratty little Ojo-sama. He doesn't know how to lose. This is where I usually drink my tea with Eagliat. Hm, that sounds wonderful. <laughs> Why, thank you, miss. Isn't it a nice day today, Mrs. Pumpkin? Why, yes it is, Mr. Pumpkin. A colorful array of sweets are laid out on the table. Are you hungry? Let's take a seat and drink some tea. Yes, let's. Just don't eat any of my favorites. Actually, try not to eat anything at all. Just drink the tea or something. What do you mean? Chubby girls always get married last. Isn't that right, Eagliette? Come, let's sit. Fudda, can I ask you a question? Of course, what is it? Why are you always so mean to me? Have I done anything to upset you? Eh? No, not really. Why do you ask? I don't know, you're always in a bad mood, so I just thought uh, You're not very good at thinking, are you? Yeah, kind of like that. Look, Eagliette, I made her upset. She totally does. But, uh... What do you want? Can't you see I'm busy talking to Eagliette? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to, uh... Didn't mean to? I didn't mean to upset you. Well, but you did. Didn't she? Eagliat. I'm so sorry, Fleta. My, I don't know what I did, but I never meant to upset you. Hmm. Then how about you prove it to me? Uh, how? Show me that thing you always carry around with you. My pocket mirror? Uh-huh. Show it to me, and I'll forgive you. I, uh... fine, but you have to be really careful. It's really important to me. Why is it so important? I bet it's not even gold. It's not like it's that valuable. Shut up, Eagliette. I am being careful. Can't you see? So, why is this toy so important to you? It's not a toy. Uh, it's not? 
Is it actually made of gold? I don't know what it's made of. Then what? How can you not know what it's made of? I, I just don't know, Fleta. Then why do you even carry it around everywhere? I'm not sure, it's just a really important thing to me. I feel like I always have to have it close to me. Maybe a bit like you and Egliette, you're always together, right? Don't you dare compare my Egliette to a toy. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to, uh... <laughs> Tay, are you listening to me? Don't just look at me like that, are you stupid? Don't you dare compare Egliette to your stupid pocket mirror. Do you understand, or will I have to hit you and make you understand? Mm, but Egliette, she was being mean. You know I never do that. Now shut up or you won't be getting dinner. Fine, but it's not because I feel sorry or anything. I, Fleta, am terribly sorry for what I just said. Please don't think badly of me, as I'm just a little girl. I just want to be your friend, so please accept my apologies. That's enough, Egliet. Huh. I'm sorry too, Fleta. I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. I accept your apologies. Can we be friends again? Huh. Fine. Do you still want to play with me? Hmm. Alright. Let's go. There are still a bunch of things I want to show you. I can't wait. Hmm. Can't tell if just Brat? She seems like a good girl underneath it all. Just a Brat. Pumpkin Charms. Hmm. Whoa. This is my big library. It's where I keep all of my favorite tales. There's not a single boring book in this whole room. Well, that's impressive, Fleta. I don't feel like reading right now. I'll give you ten minutes to check some books if you want to. Thank you, Fleta. Huh. Oh, I will. Don't mind if I already did. I wish I had the time to read all these books, but unfortunately, I'm a very busy person. Isn't that right, Egliet? Are you finished yet? No. Nah, just hurry up. Huh. Okay, let's try this one. The Complete Biography of Queen Egliet by Princess Fleta. Wait, wait. Oh, there's no reading. Hmm. There was once a little missy who was well known for being quite prissy. All of her faithful old butlers enjoyed serving her tea, obediently answering her every plea. Ruthless and powerful, the girl's last breaths were everything but colorful. Got what she deserved, embedded in aconite, was her last dessert. Bestowed with such a cruel demise, said the Missy, it is now God's duty to strip me of my disguise. Having disposed of their queen who had taken their voice, overwhelmed with freedom did her servants rejoice. And it's hard to believe Fleta would like this kind of story. Hmm. Fleta? I want to read. Thank you. How to Be a Perfect Princess by, <laughs> by Princess Fleta. Uh -huh. Frilly Dresses and Pretty Countesses by Sir Pumpkin III. Mandatory reading. How to Dance the Waltz by Mr. Rabbit. Oh, that's probably a good one. Hmm. 
A Boy's Midnight Journey by Henry... Uh, something. Read it. A certain boy was known to have a problematic condition, one that would only affect him during the night. One that even the best doctors could not explain. Thought to be the work of a devil by many, it was said that the boy would wake up during the night and speak to the ones that had perished. Despite the various attempts to cur or cure him of his curse, the boy kept on being disturbed by strange voices during the night. And everything from this page is scratched out. There's something written on the inside of the back cover. No one around him will ever know about this secret of his. Such a privilege belongs only to me, my dear. This is the only thing written in the back. A Thousand and One Riddles for Curious Minds. This book... Oh, the book about the boy disappeared. Huh. All right, let's go, Flat. Flat, I can't find a book I'm looking for. Do you have any idea where it might be? What book are you talking about? It was a book about a boy that could talk to the dead. What? There's no way I would ever have such a horrible book in my library. Uh, but I just found it a while ago. Would you please stop telling lies, miss? It's not pleasant. But it's true, I'm not lying. Yes, you are. Are you finished yet? Yeah. I don't want to stay here any longer. Alright, here we go. Marching out. Hmm, this is actually my most special room. Really? Uh-huh, it's a magic room. It'll turn into anything you desire. All you have to do is ask. Oh, I see, that's amazing. Let me show you. What color do you like best? Well, I like red. Mm, but I don't really like red. Never mind that. Just choose between pink and blue. Which would you like best? I, I like blue. Huh. But I like pink better, so we're going with pink. Then why ask? Alright, now watch and learn. Good day. What would you like to see today, princess? I would like to see a pink room. Very well, you may step inside. Let's go. Uh, Alright. I don't really like this dress, it's too frilly. These are my three special mirrors. N special? Uh-huh. There's the mirror of prayer, and then there's the mirror of truth, and then there's the mirror of judgment. Uh, what do they do? Uh, just come with me, I'll show you. This is the mirror of judgment. It judges whoever stands in front of it. Uh, that sounds scary. It's not scary, it's fun. Watch, I'll do it first since you're such a scaredy cat. Oh, mirror, mirror on the wall. I command you to tell me who's the fairest of them all. Certainly not you, princess. What, how am I not the fairest of them all? You told me I was just yesterday. Are you trying to pick a fight with me? We'll see about that. Come on, it's your turn to be judged. Oh, no, I'm fine, Fleta. This is an order. Go and get judged by the mirror right this instant. Mirror, I would like to ask you who's the fairest of them all. There is only one who can hold that title, miss, and that person is you. I know, Eagliet. Me, but I, uh... That's enough. Got what it deserved. Let's just go to the next one. Alright. This is the Mirror of Truth. 
It will answer all of your questions with nothing but the truth. Ah, I see. I go first. Oh, mirror, mirror on the wall, tell me who's the pinkest of them all. That is you, princess. <laughs> I knew it. It could only have been you, Fleta. Right? Now you go, it's your turn. Uh, what should I ask? I don't know, it's your turn, not mine. Hmm. It's not a matter of remembering your name. It's a matter of finding it. What does that mean? It must mean your name is so ugly, no one will even pronounce it. What? Can't you even take a joke? That is something only you can find out. Ah, uh, I see. Oh well, that's how it is. Why won't Eagliet talk to me? It's not that Queen Eagliet won't talk to you, miss. You simply cannot hear her. See, I told you. Isn't the mirror right, Eagliet? See? What is my name? That is something only you can find out. I see. Oh well, that's how it is. Come on, let's go to the next mirror. This is the mirror of prayer. It can make any wish come true. Really? Any wish? Uh-huh, just watch. Oh, mirror, mirror on the wall. Please make my mouth taste like candy forever. Very well, princess. Your wish is my command. It worked. Now I can always taste my favorite candy. Can I really ask for anything? Of course, my mirrors can do anything. Uh, then I want a pocket mirror. What? Why would you ask something like that for? You already have one. Your wish is my command. Imitation pocket mirror. Thank you, mirror. I don't get it. Why did you wish for another pocket mirror? I got it for you, Fleta. Here, you can take it. What? You look like you really wanted one, so I got you this. Why would I want something stupid like that? Just get rid of it or something, will you? I don't want you littering my home. But I... Uh, let's go. Follow me. <sighs> Flutter. A tall golden framed mirror hangs off the wall devoid of reflections. May you ever lose yourself in the princess's madness and I shall aid you in your sadness. Thank you, uh, but I just wonder why she doesn't like me. It may take as the princess isn't very honest, but only you can put her to rest. What do you mean? M mirror? Mirror? Took you long enough. Don't ever make me wait like this again. Sorry. Whoa! <laughs> Here we are. This is my playground. It's where I keep all of my toys. You have so many. Obviously, I'm a princess after all. Let's go play. Come on. Hmm. A wooden sculpt dollhouse frames a big ticking cuckoo clock. Hmm. 
No rag doll lays on the floor with a gentle smile on her lips. Worn out drumsticks rest behind or beside a red snare. A trunk filled with a wide array of dolls and toys. Numerous teddy bears sit on top of the long shelf. Hmm. A nightly veil covers the windows, allowing the moonlight to seep through. This is my rocking horse. It rocks. Hmm. An old deteriorated gramophone rests in the corner. Oh my. What is this thing? Huh. Imposing nutcrackers soldiers stand by the bottom of the stairs. Their eyeballs roll insanely inside their sockets. Uh, Flitta, he's looking at us. Oh, don't worry, he's just guarding my toys. Uh, I see. Hmm. All right. Here they are. Aren't they cute? You have so many. Uh-huh. Let's play. Oh, but I don't know the rules. That's all right. Eagliet will explain you the rules. Uh, what does that matter? She could just play it anyway. But I can't hear what Igliet says. Ugh, fine. I'll have to explain them to you myself since you're so dumb. All you have to do is catch the butterflies. The one who has the most butterflies wins. Ah, I see. It sounds fun. I'll go with the cage from the right. You go with the other cage. Uh, so we can start. Alright, bring it on. Are you ready? I'll go first. I got eight. Good job, Fleta. Good job, is that all you have to say? How many times... Oh, how many could you catch anyway? You don't even stand a chance. I don't even know why I'm still playing with you. Mm, well, she doesn't need to know that, does she? Fleta. What do you want? Hurry up. It's your turn now. You underestimate my zooming powers? My one! You're a cheater, that's what you are. I'm the princess. I shouldn't let something like this bring me down. <laughs> we'll just pretend like you won. I'll let this one slide just for you, miss. Uh, but I did win. Sure you did. <laughs> if you want to prove to me you're not a lying cheater, then you have to win at hide and seek fair and square. I, uh... But I thought we were friends. And we are friends. I just don't like you very much. Oh, shush, Igliet. That has nothing to do with this. Anyway, let's play. Answer me. Yes? I'll go first. You stay here and count to ten while I go hide. Oh, 
jeez, where could she possibly have gone? We didn't go to that room yet. Oh. Dear diary, today my friend Claire that worked in the kitchen disappeared and no one will tell me where she is. I wonder if she's still playing hide and seek since yesterday. That would be terrible. She must be hungry. Too bad, because I wanted to invite her for a picnic tomorrow. Dear diary, I wish I had a twin sister instead. That way we could play together every day. Today was really sunny, so I tried to play with mother, but she spends too much time in her room and doesn't talk to me as much as she used to. I wonder if she's sad because father is away. Dear diary, I wish we didn't have to live away from town. I never have any girls to play with, and brother spends too much time writing on his own. You won't let me read what he writes, either. Maybe he would play with me if I were a boy. I hope father brings me that very pretty doll he said he would buy on his trip. I think I'll call her Claire, just like my friend. Dear diary, today my tutor fell ill during class. He had what brother said was a heart attack. I wonder if he'll be alright because he wasn't moving very much after the doctor came to visit. I'm glad class ended early so I could go play in the garden. But it started raining so I had to stay inside. It was really boring, so I decided to go into Mother's room, because she isn't there anymore. Mine don't like Mother. Father brought me a very beautiful doll. Her name is Eagliette, and we have been friends for a long time now. She likes the same tea and sweets as me. I'll never let my brother touch her. I'm sure he'll break her on purpose. Eagliette doesn't like boys either, because they're brutes. It's so obvious Father is a boy, because he's going to the war again. I don't understand him. Being with Eagliette is really fun. I never feel alone when I'm with her. She always tells me very pretty stories, too. My favorite story is about that time when Eagliette had to choose the best dancers in the kingdom. She said they were very good dancers and were very elegant. The fox even had a red dress. Eagliette said she would teach me how to dance tomorrow, too. I can't wait. I love Eagliette. Today was a really bad day. I hated it because it was raining and the story Eagliette told me was very stupid. It was about some witches that went to a forest to pick up berries. That sounds so boring, I bet they tasted like dirt. I think they played with magic, but I don't care because I didn't like the story. It was so stupid, I hated it. My favorite color is pink. Eagliette likes pink very much, too. When my eyes turn pink, I will play dress up with Eagliette, and we will only wear pink dresses but I'll have to cut my hair because it's too long and I'd like it shorter. Whose diary is this?